Don Lemon is back on CNN this morning. He tweeted, I appreciate the opportunity to be back on CNN today to my network, my colleagues, and our incredible audience. I am sorry. I've heard you. I'm learning from you, and I'm committed to doing better. See you soon. According to a report from the Daily Mail, female staffers at CNN have threatened to quit if Lemon isn't fired for his recent comments on women. Though, take that with a grain of salt. The report cites an unnamed source. You know how I feel about those. Um, so, he's back. He's back. Which, you know, is Which what, is fine. He should be back. Yeah. Like, I don't, like, we're... It's funny. We talked about it because it's funny. I, it's not the gravest sin in the world. I don't think he needs therapy or training or to have to apologize every day for the rest of life. Like, in turning this into a bigger deal, look, they're going to make me defend him eventually. So I'm going to be like, okay, we don't have to rake him over the coals. It was just a really stupid thing to see, that he said. Maybe it reflects things that he thinks that are also bad. I don't know. And he's apologized and we can move on. Uh, I mean, the problem is, Robbie, that we do know. We do know that it reflects things that are bad because why else would anybody say such a crazy thing? The, the problem isn't that it's it's he's going to cause harm to some community. The problem isn't that he's like going to do violence in the world or that his words do violence. It really isn't that big a deal in the grand scheme of things. But I think what's so like troubling about it is that it's the kind of statement that does go to the core of how you're seeing mm -hmm. your colleagues and seeing women. And it's not a fireable offense, but it, it, it is a really awkward opinion to hold by someone who's in the opinion business and whose job relies on them having the public trust in that way. So it's, it's awkward. I mean, I, I think if he worked in like, you know, retail or at a law firm or something, nobody would really care about this at all. And frankly, it wouldn't be at all relevant to his job. I mean, he works in the field of opinion having. Yes. That's a different, so those of us who do are held to a higher standard. Fair yeah. Enough. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know. It just seems like. I mean, it's, it's like, what if, what if you found out that I, you know, virulently hated Italians or I thought Italians were an, an inferior group. I probably wouldn't care and, that much. And you know, you have to come into work every day and I'm muttering under my mouth about this <laughs> cocktail lasagna. Like, I mean, is it going to hurt our working relationship, Robbie? I can't imagine caring, honestly. <laughs> I, I just can't. <laughs> But yesterday, The Daily Wire's Candace Owens defended Don Lemon's comments about Nikki Haley not being in her prime on her show, saying Don Lemon's comments simply made sense. Let's watch. People are going to force me to actually defend Don Lemon for saying something that simply made sense. People are outraged. Don Lemon might lose his job. In fact, they're going to now make him take uh, diversity and inclusion courses. He's facing all of this pressure because he's clearly sexist. Right? Don Lemon is clearly sexist because he made a remark about Nikki Haley not being in her prime. I'm sorry, what was wrong with what Don Lemon just said? Is it the part that it happens to be true? <laughs> it's not allowed at CNN. Why is everybody acting so offended by the fact that he basically said water is wet? Why do people keep being perpetually offended when we acknowledge that as you age, you are no longer in your prime? The girls sitting beside him, and I'm calling them girls because they're acting like little teenage girls. Oh my God, Prime, what are you, what are you saying? You're hurting my feelings. Women are in the workplace so that we can cry and be upset and not be able to understand a basic biological fact. Like, only women can give birth. CNN people. Ah! Does she really not understand? It's, yeah, it, right, it, it is true, yeah. The, the offensive part was not saying that fifty year old Haley women is beyond not that birthing brutal. age. That was that is true. That was not the offensive That's part. The offensive part was implying that because she is not no longer fertile, fertile. she could be president in the same way that Joe Biden is perhaps too mentally old, too old, or we're worried about his mental condition because he's so old in order to be president. That was the offensive part. Correct. Because she's not that. She's Correct. not. She's not. We are not concerned about. Senility and et cetera. Correct. And, and, her, and Don Lemon's two the, colleagues did not whine and complain and act like little girls. One of them didn't on say the anything. Saw, yeah. And the other one, in a very measured way, pointed out the logical error that Don Lemon was making and it, the logical error that Candace Owens is also making. So maybe if Candace Owens had listened instead of fine-tuning her teenage girl imitation, she would have heard that the issue was, in fact, the only thing the, the other colleague, his colleague said was, wait, she's in her prime, past her prime for what? Having kids? Which was all she needed to say. Yeah. 
I, I don't know. It's 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 such an int- it's bizarre take. I mean, we were talking a little bit before about how Candace Owens can sometimes expose overreaches in liberalism and make some good points and be kind of sharp. She had a really kind of I think compelling moment in one of these congressional hearings where I think liberals who were too quick to want to dunk on her, you know, made too broad a claim about what her position was, and it allowed her to grandstand and come out mm-hmm. on top. This this I think was. Just not one of those moments. And again, she opened by saying, you're going to force me to defend Don Lemon. Truly, truly nobody forced her. <laughs> well, I agree he doesn't need to go to... Uh, diver- I mean, she wants to push back against political correctness or sure. asserting that everyone has to say things that are 100% inoffensive and accurate all the time, which I think that's that's fine. It's also not going to help. Um, Don Lemon, what did we decide he was to 56 years old? He's not going to relearn some like attitude about... Women, like, if you don't get it at this point, I, he's not going to get it. So I think that there's, if you say his attitudes have reflect, mm-hmm. like, broader attitudes in the world, and this is how people think, and, you know, it's fine for him to be on the show because he reflects the positions in America. Fine, keep him on the show. It's fine. But doing this, like, pageantry where he goes to his little re-education camp in the HR part of the building, and we're all supposed to pretend he's going to pop out a new, more understanding person, it, I agree with that. It's a, it's a silly fiction. And if there's going to be internal furor over Don Lemon, it should be over his journalistic norms and practices. 100%. Yeah. Well, Owens continued her defense of Lemon by pondering if conservatives are accidentally becoming what they hate. Let's take a look. They could have offered back to him, okay, yeah, she's not in her physical and biological prime, but at least she's 30 to 40 years younger than all of the other candidates. And he could have said yes. But instead, everybody cried. Everybody clutched their pearls and said, no, we want a world where we pretend that as we get older... We are advancing toward our primes. What is it? Everybody's crying. And here's the best part about the conservatives that are taking the bait on this. What if Trump had said that? If Trump had been out there and he said, well, Hillary Clinton's not in her prime, that's not, that's not a good Trump person. Well, you know, Hillary Clinton, she's not in her prime. That's all I could say. She's not in her prime. That's all I'm going to say. We would have been like, ah, ha, 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 ha. So true, Mr. President, because it's so true. And that's what we liked about Trump, his ability to just tell us the truth. Now, all of a sudden... Don Lemon says it, and we're pretending that we need to be hysterical and crying about it. Give me a break. This is going into the category of me wondering whether or not conservatives are accidentally becoming what they hate, right? Are we becoming the snowflakes? But Hillary Clinton is old in the way that Joe Biden is and not in the way that Nikki Haley is. Hillary Clinton is 25 years older than Nikki Haley. So again, you know, and there were arguments, by the way, when she was running, she had that moment where she kind of fainted down when she was touring um, the 9-11 Memorial. Concerns. I don't think it was It wasn't that, you know, wasn't physical, that serious. And, and certainly young people can have health concerns. John Fetterman is a much younger man and he's going yeah. through health concerns. So yeah. it, it's not about the strict chronological age. But Even for a politician, if you think about what the obligations of a politician are, some of them are kind of physical. It's a demanding job. Being president is a demanding job. Um, Some of them are mental. You know, then the amount of travel is very exhausting. Ethical and all these other kinds of things. So to say that to say that there is a relationship between being in your prime and age is of course true, but being (laughs) fifty-one. Both mentally, physically, absent any other like you know person-specific non-chronological ailment. You're quite literally in your prime. Mm-hmm. Professionally, when people earn the most money, when they peak, when they, you know, in the in the 15 years before retirement, you are quite literally in your professional, cognitive, and physical prime. So it just doesn't make sense. The interesting thing to contemplate is if Trump had made this derisive remark about Nikki Haley, mm-hmm. which. Uh, conservative Trump supporter fans would not have cared about in the slightest. They would have, in fact, cheered him on, and CNN would have had (laughs) wall-to-wall coverage of the the hater of women-in-chief. Yeah. including on Don Lemon's show. It's true. I mean, I will say that <laughs> Democrats have been hypocritical about some of these things when Republican, you know, when people go after Republican women. There was a comment that was made on, um, I think on Joy Ann Reed's show, uh, by a commentator who said something about Lauren Boebert looking like she wasn't had an only fa- OnlyFans. Right, we talked about that. And Joy Ann Reed sits there and just kind of chuckles through it and nobody pushes back. And I, and I think that's wrong, to be honest. Yeah. You lose credibility if you do those kinds of things. But, you know... 
On the other Barnella. hand, there is a lot of performative outrage by both sides, and I and I do think that you know yeah. she's right. I, I, Republican Party has realized the value of identity politics and doing this kind of strong arming, and they have not just become the snowflakes; they've been the snowflakes because everyone is selectively a snowflake when they think it's going to score them points in the media, and that's all any of this is about. Yeah. Yep. Well, thanks for reminding us of that clip. That was a disaster. <laughs> More rising right after this. Please stay with us.